right now on No More Downloads. Guess who's got game? It went from, shh, you can't talk about it, to now you got games that they have nights for gays. Gay people and basketball? Just what drove the Los Angeles Clippers to make NBA history? It's even better for us because we love basketball. And then, get ready because class is in session. It's a black history lesson like none other. I want um, black gay community to see the photographs, men in particular. A Houston man makes an amazing discovery. I'm Janora McDuffie. We take a look back at 140 years of Afro male affections. You like that? Then, it was all that and a bag of Doritos. The controversy and the commercial that went viral. I didn't see it and I still to this day don't understand what the controversy is. And I'm Kendall Hogan. The star of that Doritos ad, George King, sets the record straight in a No More Down Low exclusive. The Dapper Boys. And, We'll preview what's hot in the gender-bending fashion world of butch voices. Butch and femme, to me, is um, all role play and fun. It's awards season here in Hollywood, and we are at the home of the granddaddy of them all, the Kodak Theater. We're about to show you around this area called Hollywood and Highland, coming up on No More Download. Everybody and welcome back to another exciting edition of our show. My guest co-host today looks familiar. It's the handsome one and only always fit Kendall Hogan. Thanks you are for coming way back. Way too nice. Thank you for having me. Listen, I had such a good time. <laughs> I'm ready to do it again. This time we're here at Hollywood and Highland, but before we get started, let's kick it over to the Staples Center where Mark Noble is. Mark? Kendall, Janora, we're outside Staples Center, and the sign behind me kind of says it all, Clippers rise. Not only do they rise, though, they also break ground. This t-shirt kind of says it all, Equality Night Clippers. This team becoming part of a movement overall, encouraging inclusion of LGBTQ people. It went from, shh, you can't talk about it, to now you got games that they have nights for gays. Who, who would ever thought that could happen? In large numbers, they were out for the game of basketball, a move by the Los Angeles Clippers and the NBA to reach out to the LGBT community. It was something that the Clippers had been trying to do in the years past, trying to get the lesbian and gay community out here to the Staples Center to reach out to a different fan base to, uh, you know, that has tons of sports fans, tons of support in the LA area. We're big supporters of the NBA and sports in general, and to have a night kind of for everybody, but also including um, the gay and lesbian community, it's great. Actually, me and a couple of my friends, we actually play on the national gay basketball team, so it's even better for us, because we love basketball. Gay people in basketball rose to the forefront in recent years with the revelation by former NBA star John Amici, who became the first professional basketball player to admit that he was gay. When he said it, guys like, what? So yeah, brother, you didn't know? So that shows you, if you didn't know, would you look at him different now? Is he the same cat? Or do you or do you look at him different now? That's what shows you about people, man. Like, oh, you didn't know. It was all right. He was cool with you. But now you know he ain't cool. That's the thing about it. It shouldn't, it shouldn't shock you. What it might do is help those who happen to be same gender loving athletes to feel comfortable living their lives in this courtside world of free throws and three pointers. I think we're still a little ways away from an active athlete coming out. But I think once that happens, the door will open. And based on the success tonight, a complete sold out crowd, it's pretty safe to say that other NBA teams might very well be jumping on the bandwagon. From Staples Center in downtown LA, Mark Noble, no more down low. Back to you, Janora. 